everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town. This is Silent Noise Plays, and I'm Silent Noise. Uh, I have played the demo for this game. I'll link that video in the description if you haven't seen that already. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just start a new game. I'm not sure if um, the intro will be what I've already played or not, but uh, here we go. I did it! My research is finished at last. Tomorrow I'll submit it to the professor. It will be a big day. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Dad's disappearance, too. It's already been ten years. Henry Morgan, the famous archaeologist, vanished under mysterious circumstances. This was the most recurring headline in the newspapers. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried really hard to understand where your final research took you. A hello to Mom, and then to sleep. Unfortunately, she can't be here tomorrow. Her latest expedition in the Amazon is taking longer than expected. Let's hope she receives my email. Good night, Mom. Several hours later. Get the door! Coming! This postman believes that everything he delivers is urgent. One can never even get a few hours rest. It's only 2 p.m. The day has only just started. Let's see. Bills. A letter for me? Nobody writes to me, usually. It's dated July 25th, 2008. The same day my father disappeared. Dear Willie, it's Dad. If you received this letter, it means that my mission didn't go according to plan. I can't linger or I would put your mother and you in danger. You must go to the old inn in Bonetown as soon as possible. Room 09, but never trust anyone. Everything begins there in the warmth of a friendly place. Love, Dad. Hmm. It certainly isn't a prank. The style and handwriting are my father's. I've looked for clues to his disappearance for ten years. And I even got a letter from him. I must leave for Bonetown immediately. I'll have to manage somehow, because Mom is still traveling. But Bonetown isn't far. With a little money and a bike, I can get there in a few hours. I saw the bike around the house. There's even some money around here somewhere. Off we go! Perfect! I already found the bike. Or rather, what's left of it. To leave, I'll need all the other parts, too. Okay. Hi, I'm Willie. Would you like to take a short tutorial to learn how to handle things in my world? Uh, no, I will not because I already did it. All right, let's start. Okay, um, so first things first, I'm just gonna turn his volume down a little bit. Uh, boop, boop, boop. And yeah. Let's see if that's good. Uh, and let's save our game, that seems like a good idea. Game correctly saved. Okay. Uh, resume. Alright. Um, so what we need to do to start, like this is all what was in the demo if you haven't seen it already. We need to build a bike and grab some money. Okay. Uh, of course me not doing the tutorial, I forget now how to open my inventory. Okay, it's the uh, letter I. Wait. Okay, 
So we need a bell, handlebar, saddle, cogs. We already have the frame, another cog, pedals, chain, wheel, and another wheel. Okay, so the first wheel is actually right here. Uh, so, oh, and then that's the letter. We already read that. Let's open this. The wardrobe door. Oh wait, we have to do this. So I think another one of the wardrobe's drawers. The wheel's up here. Oh, and they some will come pedals. in handy. I'll take them with me. See, so, yeah, I'll just kind of speed through this part because I already did all of this. Here in the they demo. are. Too many drawers. I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. Empty. I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. Hmm. It won't be an ISO 9000 certified ladder, but it will do. Got you, wheel. Never do that at home. It's very unsafe. Alright. I can't remember if there's anything in here. Uh, Essential for traveling. Okay. And day of the tentacle Collecting poster. everything found lying about is a real fixation. And I'm trying to think what else was in this room that I can grab. Giotto always had one too, or so they say. Okay. Piggy bank, I don't think we can do anything with it yet. Uh, and then he didn't let me take this key in the demo, so no I, way. Yeah. If we start by taking a key at the beginning of the adventure, what will happen next? So we have to go out, and we'll start at the end of the hallway. Ah, uh, so there is a plunger here. I feel more at ease taking it with me. Kind of gross to put that in your bag, but okay. And a bicycle seat. It's always seat. good to have one for a pleasant bike ride. I don't know why his bike is disassembled to begin with. It's a little strange, but whatever. Got if some only tools. there was a rubber chicken, but these could come in handy too. All right. I'll go back out. And then uh, into the bathroom. Uh, and then I believe we use the uh, whoop, the plunger on the bathtub. I see no alternative. Now you'll discover the huge power of a plunger. <laughs> the graphics in this game are really nice amazing. Work. Now I can safely leave home. Well. Look what was hiding in the bathtub. I believe it's the it's filter. It's certainly a part of the bicycle. I'm amazed by the extremely intelligent use I made of it. Okay. It's too bad we can't take the rubber ducky with us. Okay. And then I think this room is his mom's room. Okay. Um, okay, so there's a little jewelry box thing strange here. object let's see what happens when I pull one of the branches I thought so genius typical of my mother I bet she designed it look at the nice ring inside it so now we are gonna steal it looks ancient and there's also an engraving inside difficult to make out S C Arvis mag a I think I know what it is I'll put it in the bag it might come in handy Okay. And then, doing so whoops. is very if success tried to combine. Sorry. He was just saying now you have something to combine in your inventory. So I think we combine the ring with the compass. And it came to pass that my criminal career began. And he makes a very strange contraption that I don't quite understand how it works, but I guess it's a lock picking tool. Uh, let's take the It could clock. contain something important that would be of use to me. Oh, I think we use a screwdriver on the clock. Let's see what's wrong with it. Okay, so we got a it? bell. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Top Replacing the, the internal alarm with the bicycle bell might not have been a brilliant idea. 
suitcase? I think I'll need it shortly. I don't think there's anything in the wardrobe here, but I'll also just look at this just in case. I don't need a map to get to Bone Town. I already know where it is. Moreover, this isn't a map of our state. I'm excited to get out of the house because um, the demo ended once you finally had the bike ready, so I don't know what comes after the house, but everything here I know how to do. Um, let's see, grab some post-its. There's information that could be useful. I don't know if we actually need those, but eh. Oh, I should go, eh, I'll go in here first. So into the kitchen. Um, in the fridge. So I think we use the screwdriver on the screw. Just what I needed. Then we can take the handle. I can go bar. anywhere without it. Uh, can't read anything in here, I don't think. I already had breakfast. Alright. I think that there's some money in one of these as well. In this, my mother used to hide little surprises for me. Let's see if I'm still lucky. Yep. Would you look at this? It looks like there's a little emergency money in the bottom of the tins. There's no greater emergency than this. Cool, got some money. It's quite a bit of money. Once the piggy bank is opened, I could have a small fortune. I don't think there's anything else that we need in the kitchen, so we'll just go back out. Also, he has so much Sam and Max and Day of the Tentacle memorabilia. I mean, everybody should, but I'm just saying he has a lot. Like, there it is again. Um, okay, I wanted to go back into his room. And then use this thing on the piggy. Excellent idea. That way I can open it without causing irreparable damage. I wonder how much I've managed to save in the last few months. Nothing. I don't know why he took the face uh, off. I expected more. All that noise and all I got is this lot of gears? I don't even know how they ended up in here. Beats me. Um... Oh, we're missing, uh... What is it? Some lotion? Where did I find the lotion? Oh wait, it's in the bathroom. In the mirror. I prefer to leave it here. Otherwise, I won't be able to monitor the phases of my puberty. Maybe in the cupboard? Yeah. There it is. Let's take it. One never knows what might come next. Alright, so we have the lotion. Now we go back into his room. Go in here. Close the door. And... Oh, wait. Turn on the lamp. Et voila! And then put the lotion in the lamp to heat it up. Excellent! The heat from the lamp is melting the oil. It's ready to use now. Cool. And then I believe we use this on the wheel here. The rusty screws are loosening up. I also finished the suntan oil. I better leave the empty bottle here. And then I think he called them screws, but I'm pretty sure he used the wrench on them. Now it works. Yeah. I don't even know. If you're using the wrench, they should be bolts, not screws. I think. Is that money right there? Alright. So I think we actually should have everything to leave now, so that didn't take that long. So we can actually see what happens in this game. Uh, bicycle seat! I don't think we need to do it in order. I'd really love to try it. Okay. I think there's still something missing. No, duh. Gotta put a wheel another on part. there. Almost ready. And another wheel. I need a few more parts first. Oh! This thing! Very good! There's still something missing. Now some more wheels? Making progress. I can glimpse its shape. Okay, some cogs. Perfect. A few more parts. Another cog. Nearly there. Not long to go. Uh, the pedals. It's not time yet. Don't. Belt. Not long to go. Okay. Nearly there. And then the bell. How professional. Nearly there. Now the pedals? They connect perfectly. Cool. Also, his belt turned into an actual I belt chain. I just have chain. to take it, and that's it. 
It's very strange. Okay, and we'll take the bike. down, here I come. Yay! What a goofy looking bike. And away we go. So now, after we exit the house, everything will be brand new for me. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's go. He had that whole thing in his bag. Montage. Oh, he went the same way twice. Not the brightest kid. <laughs> That's okay. Well, he figured out how, where to go now, so it's okay. There's Bone Town. Maybe he had to like stop and get a coffee or something. Oh, he crossed it. My money! They're stealing me money, boy! It felt like something from my bike was missing. I forgot to mount the brakes in my hurry to leave. Whoops. Fortunately, I escaped without any major damage. Better take what's left. I'm especially sad about the bike. I was very fond of it. I'm sure you can make a new one. Okay, I picked up my money and my letter and... My plunger! Where'd my plunger go? Oh. Alright, uh, I'm gonna save the game here though. I'll make a new one. And I think I'll just turn the music down a tiny little bit, but that should be good. Alright, so now it's all brand new and it looks like we're in some kind of tropical, pretty awesome town. And I can't go this way. So I guess we'll just oh, can we go over here? I can't go back. First of all, it's night. And I don't want to walk all the way. Alright, let's go into Bone Town. Ooh. Dead Man Inn. Dead fountain. I could pick all the weeds and try to fix it, but I'm not here for that reason. What a huge job that would be to take on in a town you don't even live in. So that's where I came from, and I can also go that way. I can go that way. Lettuce. Let's go into the inn, because that seems to be the best place to go. Better leave it here. Other travelers might need it. I don't mean take the sign. I've arrived at the Dead Man Inn. This was the place I always stayed with mom and dad when we came here. And it's the same place indicated by my father in his letter. All right. In we go. Room 09? Pretty sure. Yo-ho! Uh, good evening. Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? Uh huh? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very good. I almost feel at home. Mm -hmm. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you we are in peak season. Can't you mm. just look at the wall? In this one, we still have to clean up blood stains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. Well, we want 9. Then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. My In lucky that number case, two. I can't do anything other than give you room 10. Oh, you piece but of I crap. I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number nine. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number ten, which nobody likes. So they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn in a 40-kilometer area. You can also go Kilometers. find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10. So I guess I'll say room 10 so he'll give me room 9 if that's the game we're gonna play. Room 10 is okay. Do you have money for the accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan. 
That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? This is such a strange place because, like, where Willie came from, they have cars and stuff, and then you come here and it's all... Like, is it just a pirate theme, or are they actually living like pirates here? Um... I don't know how much I should tell him. But I guess... Sure, let's be honest. For the anniversary of my father's disappearance, today it's ten years exactly. There's always a good reason to stay at the Dead Man Inn of Bone Town. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Also, I just noticed he's got a picture of Guybrush on his shirt, which is pretty awesome, but you should get a new one, buddy. That's pretty faded. Um... I wasn't listening. What do we do? Can you repeat what I have to do, please? There's a form in the room. Oh. I need you to fill it up and then bring it to me to confirm your registration. Okay, I will do that right away. What a weird policy. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> okay, can I look at your stuff? I have no idea how to use a quill. I can hardly write even with a normal ballpoint pen. Oh boy. Uh... It's on the menu. Wait, can I read it? Right click Today's is look special. at. Today's special. Pigeon pudding drowned in grog. Ew. Hard tack and fat fried in grog. Grog cake? It looks like a diet rich with fiber and carbs. Better leave it for the next customer. Okay. It's a poster for the Lafitte Amusement Park. The most prestigious amusement park in Bone Town. I stand corrected. The only amusement park in Bone Town. Grand opening October 29, 1915. By now, it's probably the only abandoned amusement park in Bone Town. Okay. Uh, can I just steal the key? Like, hey, look over there. Nope. You chose room number 10. It's the only key you can take. Technically, it wasn't exactly a choice. It doesn't change the fact that you can only take the key to room number 10. All right. I don't know. I guess I'll take it's the it. the key to room 10. Can I trade it? Like, switch it out when he's not looking? Uh, whoop. Inventory? Come on. The key opens a door. I don't think it has any other function. Damn it. Okay, let's go upstairs. Uh-oh. They're on to me. Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Rub him yes. out. Standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. <gasps> sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. He's gonna see my nothing, because I don't have anything. Lincoln? If I take it down, the innkeeper would surely notice. There are a series of pictures portraying famous people who seem to have stayed here. Stanko Stupar immortalized Abraham Lincoln. There's a big old oil slick on the floor. I shudder to think what it might be. Color and density do not bode well. Well, it's not really on the carpet. It's like sitting on top of it, so I don't even know. Hmm. It's locked. Okay. I have a little owl figurine like this. I don't need it. Look at it. Owls again. Owls. Owls. Is that Christopher Walken? I'd rather admire it on this wall. I didn't know Walken came here too. Uh, He's yes been immortalized by the artist Ayman Oktar. Hmm. Okay. It's a Riyadh Kasim work. Who's this? Tiago Vatel painted this subject. I've seen this picture before, and I think I've seen it on uh, Instagram, maybe, for, like, blender stuff or something. Maybe the youngest visitor to the Dead Man Inn. This portrait is the work of Tiago Huacel. Huh. 
So that's the room we want. This is the room we got. Huh, wait. Oh, a mouse hole. Oh, I thought that that was like a padlock on the door, but now I realize it's just a regular lock. Oh. It really belongs here. Sorry, I, I keep want to left upset clicking. The of this place. Right click. It seems like a piece of modern art. Do not open. Restricted to personnel only. It doesn't lead to other rooms. It looks more like a second entrance. Oh. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. Well, let's see if we can get in to room number nine. Not likely, but let's give it a shot. Uh... It fits perfectly. It was a good try, but unfortunately the key doesn't turn. I can't open Shoot. room 09 with the key for room 10. Alright. Locked. So yeah, let's go in here. In we go. Okay. Um. Is that to like hang ourselves or something? It looks like a rudimentary room bell. Oh. <laughs> it's like, ooh, that's kind of creepy. It's an aftershave. Somebody was in a hurry to leave the room and forgot it. Um, I already want my money back because like, ugh creepy room with the out-of-service door. A fireplace of great worksmanship. I can't close the door. There's the- It's the form the innkeeper was talking about. There's the form. First I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. Such a strange hotel. Like, that's not how they I usually work. I haven't got work. a pen with me, and can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info. Okay... I mean, the bed looks pretty comfy, at least. Jeez. Music scared the crap out of me. He can bring the pen to me. It looks like a communication system. Better complete the check-in. I it. wouldn't want the innkeeper to accuse me of using a service that still doesn't belong to me. You are being way too nice. It's like you're still paying for this. Alright. Locked. No, I didn't. Just walk this way. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. I wonder if I can go into the authorized. Locked. Is that what that says? Yeah. Okay, down we go. Ooh. Uh, okay, I've got the form. Can I use? I'll give it to you. I'm back with the form you talked about, but I haven't got a pen with me, and I still have to fill it out. Doesn't matter. Give it to me so I can write the essential data down. Thank you. Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age plays shameful tricks. You seem like a different person now. Kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Mm hmm Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this inn. <laughs> Sabang. <laughs> Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? <laughs> what now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything Just my I name? Need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? Okay, thank you. Um... Um, yeah, I don't think you should stay here, but okay. And if my room is like ransacked, what do they take? I didn't take anything out of my pocket. Oh boy. Can, uh, did I try and pick up the stain? I'd rather not touch that substance. Okay. Okay. In we go. Oh my god! Ah. And to think that, according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep the important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. 
So he told someone to come and, uh... What the hell happened here? He told someone to come in and look through all my stuff, but that was before I had even moved in? Okay. And he came from over here. Uh... Very strong draft completely ransacked my room. Uh... Let's see this one. How did you get here so fast? I heard screaming and thought there was a lady in danger. Uh -huh. It was my sixth sense, boy. The sixth sense of an old innkeeper. What could have happened according to you? Um... I guess we'll say this one. A very strong draft ransacked my room. You should be more careful about leaving the door open. Hurricanes are frequent this time of year. Summer hurricanes localized into one room in particular? You can't rule anything out. Otherwise, what do you think happened? You guys are being way too casual standing next to this thing. Uh, can I? No, oh, I can't use the menu right now. Uh... I guess the robber came in and trashed the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable from you? He really sounds like Nick Offerman. Um... <laughs> yeah, let's say we have a bunch of stuff. Yeah, let's say my wedding ring. My wedding ring? It was worth a fortune. How old is your wife? That is rude. You don't ask a lady her age. Yeah, I'll say this. I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable in the area, but it doesn't have any insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. So I get to stay forever? Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance before you arrive. Thanks, my good man. So I'm gonna go get the key. Can I go through here? I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other oh. priorities. Figured I'd give it another shot. So let's go get that key. Oop. Come on. Down we go. What the hell, man? You're fast. Like, I understand you being able to get down here that fast, but like, you clean that fast? Holy crap. Uh. Have you already cleaned up the room? Yes, everything's in order again. Here's the key. Okay, thanks. Hmm. Strange. And you have all the services of the dead man in at your disposal. Like what, for example? The most important one is room service. And following that, the do not disturb. Okay, um, I'm gonna say this. I saw the stain in the hallway. You have very good eyesight. It blends well with the rest of the upholstery. Well... I'm waiting for the cleaning lady to use her expertise to remove that. I'd like to have a touch of freshness in the air when it's done. I expect that won't be easy. Okay... The fireplace in the room is very nice. It's one of the many points of pride at the Dead Man Inn. There's one in every room, hand-built by one of my ancestors, brick by brick. Okay. How does the room service work? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible so as to not leave my position untended. If you don't see me at the counter, it's because some impediment forced me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem. It speeds up my movement, but climbing really slows me down. Thanks. That seems clear to me. I have a theory, and I could be wrong, but I'm wondering if this guy might have a twin, and that's how he's so fast, but I don't know. What's the do not disturb? It's this amazing object. 
only paper of the highest quality for our customers. With the writing, do not disturb, in giant letters. You just have to hang this on the door. And I'll know you don't want to be disturbed. Here, take it. Can I just hang it on my face? <laughs> just leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Thanks, very useful. Uh... I guess we've said everything. Thanks, and goodbye. So I can't use his phone. He's really polishing that barrel. I have no idea how to use Okay, uh, well, let's go upstairs again. And we'll go back over here. <laughs> uh, probably put this out there it doesn't work seems these locks are breach proof no I mean hang it on the door all right can I do it now no okay you even put the aftershave back huh I don't think I should touch anything that yellow tape does not bode well all right so this is the room service rope Wow, you're really prompt on that room service. What now? Oh, that must be the new guest. The I saw only straight guest. away that he was a troublemaker. Better go check. How am I a troublemaker? Maybe I want like some I takeout. The cleaning lady is going to fix this disaster. Actually, I wonder when I last saw the cleaning lady. I don't think I've seen her at work since our discussion about the hourly rate. I'm sure she'll come back. Nobody can refuse a dollar per hour. Better check what's happening. Number ten. Jeez, this guy even can puts I help on you? his asshole I'm front testing by the room himself. service. Excellent service. Also the price. Maybe I forgot to tell you that after a certain number of calls, an extra fee is triggered. Cordial as usual. If there's nothing else, I'll get back to my business. Everything's okay. Thanks. Um, I would say that's a bait and switch, sir. Because also you said that my next few nights would be free, and I've already paid for tonight. Ooh. Okay, I don't seem to be able to click on... Whoop. No. Hmm. And I have Do Not Disturb, Room Tenki, and the letter. Well, let's go outside and see if we can look at anything. doop doo Yeah, I guess we'll just go outside. So I, I'll go this way first. I'd rather not go around the city at night. You never know. Bah. I'd rather wait. Okay. Eh. Let's go back in then. Can I mess around with anything? Can I order a drink? Barkeep? Bartender, something strong, please. How old are you? Sure, what can I get you? I imagine a fresh glass of plain water would work, or maybe a lemonade, but I doubt you could handle it. <laughs> mm, on second thought, I'm not that thirsty. It's better that way. I'd like a glass of better bartender, because you're a piece of crap. Better yeah. not. Okay, uh, so I can't seem to grab the key. Let's just talk to him, I guess. Uh, no, never mind. Thanks, and goodbye. So I wonder if there's anything we can do with the fireplace, or if I can order anything from the menu. That would Take be nice. Take it and deprive the next tourist of those delights? That sounds crazy to me. No, I mean like use Today's it. special. Hard right. to grog. It looks like that. better leave it for- Stop. Okay, uh... I can't get in here. It's locked. Can I use this to unlock any doors? Let's see if I can. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Done. This sign is useless now. I'd rather not take it with me. Okay. Um. Uh, what do we got? Another plunder. Oops. Another stain. Bucket and rag. Let's go. The things I have to do. Let's just hope it doesn't spill. I wouldn't really know what to use to get rid of this stink. Ew. 
Just put that in your bag. Um. Okay. Alright. What's the box? Oh, I can't click on that. I'm gonna try and avoid using the, uh, the hotspot thing. Like, this thing. As much as I can. But, uh, you never know. We might eventually need it. If I get stuck. Uh, put this right there. Very good. It looks like the cleaning has finally started. And can we clean it ourselves? Just how I pictured it. I'd rather not. I still don't know how to get rid of the stench of this thing from the bag. Ew. Now it looks serious. Well done. What was the point of that? To make him think the cleaning lady's here? I don't think I can take anything else though. But. Yes, maybe we'll try and ring room service now. I guess we'll we'll try that. What's he gonna do? I have no money. You can't charge me for ringing this thing. Oh, can I put the aftershave in there to make it all like foamy? I see someone's been busy, but I can't smell the usual fresh scent. That means the job isn't finished yet, and I can go through. Better check what's happening. Yeah. Can I help you? I'm testing the room service. Excellent service. Also the price. Maybe I forgot to tell you that after a certain number of calls, an extra fee is triggered. Cordial as usual. If there's nothing- Everything's okay. Until you tell me what that a fee is, peculiar or scent. I wouldn't how say many it's times. Good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. Like if you tell me the number of times I need to ring the thing, I'll just keep ringing it. Okay. Whoa! I accidentally closed out of the game for a second. Um, that's why you gotta fix the um, the cursor lock so it stays within the game. Cause I just closed out now of the it game. Looks serious. Bah. And now something classy. The contents haven't changed, but now there's a fresh musk ox scent. Okay, we'll ring the thing again. Oop. Alright, ring the bell. Agile and silent like a ninja. I didn't even realize the cleaning lady finally got to work. Better not walk across it. I'd risk ruining this beautiful work. Oh, she also added the essence of musk ox. My favorite. I'll go around the back. That guy's gonna have to wait for a second. What a weirdo. Nobody's coming. Better go check the entrance. Better go get that, uh, key. Go, go, go. Hurry. Yay. This is my chance. Yoink. Now I should put my key in its place, maybe? I don't know if that matters. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, back up the stairs. So, we'll go into room 10. Uh, or, I mean, room 9. Eh? Let's hope there won't be any other obstacles. Oh, there will At be. At last! Yay! Well, this is nicer than mine, minus the nasty apples. I don't trust taking them. There's the chance they could have been eaten by mice, the owner of the place, or the cleaning lady. In any of the three cases, I don't want to take them with me. Hotel, hotel, hell. That's what it seems like. Everything starts there, in the warmth of a friendly place. I think my father meant warmth in a literal sense. Perhaps he hid something in the fireplace. Let's try searching there. Wow, you totally did something I didn't even think about. What is this? This brick doesn't seem to be bonded to the fireplace like all the others, but I can't rip it out. It seems after all these years it is partially calcified back into the fireplace. Can I smash it with something? I need something? something to grab hold of the cracks. Um, I have two keys and a note. I don't think that'll do anything. Maybe... They're apple cores. They really leave much to be desired as a welcome gift. These tongs, but the, the ones from my room maybe? Uh... Ooh, brick. I can't do this. 
Maybe the temperature variations made it stick. I need some help. Okay, you'd think you could use like these grabber thingies here, but I guess I guess we'll have to keep looking. I don't really want to ring the bell in case the guy hears me and comes up. That would be bad. At least they get a bathroom. I didn't even get a bathroom. Ooh, look at that. It's like velvet. It's pretty. I don't need it right now. Okay. Look what's inside. What? Somebody forgot a nail file. Better take it. It could come in handy. Hmm. Huh. Well, that could work to get the brick out. Um... Tough luck. Fate really doesn't want me to take a shower or a bath. Why not? You could use the tub. Nobody will know. Hmm. I think he's just trying to get away with being stinky. It seems to be working. I can take out the mortar holding the brick. Clever. A niche. Let's see what's inside. Okay. It looks like an old library card. It belonged to my father, Henry Morgan. Last read book, Properties of Concrete. What did my father want to tell me? Hmm. It's a card for the Bone Town Library. The card belongs to Henry Morgan, my father. Let's see the last read book, Properties of Concrete. What was he working on in his final research? Better go to the library to make some inquiries. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to do in here. Do I just After this go amazing to bed? night, it'd be better to go back to my room and rest. First, I'd rather take the key to room 09 back to reception. I'd prefer to avoid having problems with the innkeeper. I have a really big day ahead of me tomorrow. I like how he's telling me that. Like he knows I'm watching him. The next morning. I think the time has come to find out what Dad was working on. I better check the library card again. I'm sure Dad left me some other clue. Alright. Well, I already looked at it, so let's just go to the library. Uh, I do like the change in the lighting. That's kind of nice. It looked like it was still nighttime in his room. Is the stain gonna still be there? Yep. Okay. Bye. Better leave the key here. I don't know. Oops. Does he do it in himself? All right, works I guess for me. it's a good idea to ask for directions to the library. I wouldn't want to wander aimlessly through Bone Town. You're gonna trust this guy? Excuse me, I need some information. Is there still a public library here in Bone Town? Sure, boy. It's one of the crown jewels of Bone Town. At least it is according to what Margaret, our librarian, tells us. I'm simply reporting what's said because I personally never go to such places. Strange. I would have bet the opposite. Could you tell me where it is? Turn left at the main square, just outside the door. Boy, if you don't want to get lost, use this. It's an old Bone Town postcard, but it was used as a tourist map during the Golden Years. It could be of use to orient yourself and move around Bone Town. How big is Bone Town? Okay. Thank you. Are you interested in something in particular? Just to reminisce a little bit. My father used to take me there all the time. Thanks. This and more for a paying customer. I'm I better be going now. The only customer he's had in years. Nobody else will put up with this crap. Alright, we got not the map. So we are here. There's the fountain. So the library somewhere over there and this is where we came from I'm sure we'll figure it all out okay let's go this way I'm sure this fountain is gonna be really important later open this must be the library yes Bone Town library it's the public library of Bone Town I never imagined it would have survived given the state of the town oh, let's look at the junk Wow, there are some extremely rare first editions here. Ooh. Better not. It's like seeing my house. Even if I picked everything up, then it would suffer the same fate in our closet at home. Okay. It looks new. Hmm. I don't need it. At first glance, there seem to be different tomes, some of which have considerable value too. I wonder why they're out here. Because maybe they got wet or something? I don't want to take anything from here. It's still material in the public domain. Or their donations. That would make more sense. I just want to check everything outside before I go in. 
It's one of those old message boards on which they hung the wanted posters. Here in Bone Town, time seems to have stopped. There are still posters of the gang that was raging here decades ago. The members have become famous. I recognize the posters of Rufy, Nami, and Zoro. The others are faded from exposure to bad weather. There's also a little footnote. Posters offered by the Lafitte Amusement Park. Okay. Go open the door. Oh boy, dusty in here. A well-stocked library, but it would be a lot of work to put it in order. All right, uh, let's talk to the lady. Oh, no, right. There we go. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? Um, uh, sure. How come all across Bone Town the gutters seem to be new? They are new. There's been some geological instability in the last few years. We don't know yet if it's due to natural causes or human activity. In any case, the result is that Bone Town no longer has a working water network. And the only way to retrieve some water at a decent cost seems to be this one. Whose idea was this? Maybe the only person who really cares about the state of Bone Town, our Mayor Steve Bonnet. I feel like he doesn't actually care about the town. What can you tell me about Steve Bonnet? He's the only one here doing something to keep Bone Town alive. Without him, our village would be much worse off. I suggest you go visit him. He knows everything about Bone Town. If you need something specific, he'll be able to help you for sure. These days, he lives in the town hall to deal with all the city's problems. But he's always available to everyone. Thank you. I'll visit him as soon as possible. She has, uh... A Legend of Zelda earring, I think. Yeah. Um, I need to consult one of your tomes. It's always a pleasure when someone wants to benefit from the services offered by our library. What are you looking for? Uh, I would like... <laughs> oh, what was the title? This one? Properties of Concrete. Oh, what a surprise! It's not among the more popular in Bone Town. I guess this is the second consultation in more than 10 years. Doesn't it get the attention it deserves? Here in Bone Town, people don't read a lot, especially a book like that. I could never have managed to face it either. Where can I find it? I guess it's somewhere on the upper floor. You should recognize it easily. Thank you. It's just gonna be like a gigantic book. I hope I picked the right one. What happened to Bone Town in the last few years? The city has always held more allure at the expense of the small villages. And Bone Town is no exception. All the young people left when they had the chance, leaving the town in its current sorry state. It seems you know our town well, although you're so young. Can I ask your name? Of course. I'm Willie Morgan. I'm Margaret. Margaret Teach. But for those who attend the library, I'm just Margaret. Once there was a Morgan here in Bone Town, too. Then he left, seeking fortune, and he became famous. But he never stopped coming back to visit Bone Town. I don't think you know him. You mean Henry Morgan by any chance? You surprise me, and that doesn't happen often. The point is, I know him very well. Henry was my father. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't know. Don't worry. It's been a while. Ten years ago, right? Yes. Um... Do you know what he was working on in his final research? I don't know. He always read a lot, basically all the tomes you can find in here. And sometimes, at his request, I had to order books from other cities as well. Okay... Do you know anything about his disappearance? Unfortunately, only what I've read about. One night, he was here in Bone Town. The morning after, it's like he vanished into thin air. Not a clue, not a trace. No letters or anything that could have guided the search parties to a solution. Hmm. How do you know that? Kid, I'm the librarian. I basically remember everything that is put on paper. And Henry used to come to our library a lot. Okay. Do you know if he had enemies, maybe? Henry? Let's be serious. I think there were very few men as affable as him. Okay. Thanks for the information. Don't mention it. If I can be of any more help, just ask. Um... Okay, I guess that's it. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. 
I want to call her Teach. Like she's a teacher. Uh, I guess we'll go up the stairs. Da this one? <laughs> That's the one that stood out to me first. Yikes. Wait. V voluminous book. It's stuck under the huge number of books on the desk. I must find a way to free it. Just push all the books off the desk. Oh, the Hobbit right there. Um, How? Should I remove everything on top of it? There's no time. And above all, I wouldn't know where to put all these books. Who cares? She doesn't. I think this isn't how you take care of books. Hmm. This lock is peculiar, to say the least. I'm pretty sure that I'd need a special key if I wanted to open it. Um. Uh, okay, so we have a new puzzle to solve. Oh. There's like a pulley, but it doesn't look like I can click on it. I was thinking maybe we could like lift it, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna work. It's the famous book, Properties of Concrete, the last book read by my father. Okay, I did pick the right one. Uh, it doesn't look like I can click on anything else. Okay, I guess we'll have to come back and figure that one out. Hmm. Okay. Bye, Teach. Uh, what's over here? A chicken! Oh, it's so cute! Can I scare it away? He doesn't care. He likes me! Aw. Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. Just me and the chicken. And uh, in the next part, we will figure out how to get that book out from under the table. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and uh, subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, make sure to ring the bell to get notified for when I upload new videos. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.